on the first show you had mentioned you hurt your back and stuff like yeah. that. And oh, yeah. uh, one I'm thing flying. I wanted, one thing I wanted to share yeah. with you, dude, is, um, see this wallet. Yeah. This you mean is my like, wallet. wait, hold on. You mean like this big lumpy one that I sit on? Yeah. The... Yeah. Pull that thing out. Dude, this thing's the fucking eyesore of the world. Everything is, where's the camera? <laughs> see, I'm, I'm just like you. Look at this. It's got like hair things sticking out of it because it's so old and withered. And everything I put into it, watch what I could do with it. Hey, yeah, exactly. It's flimsy. Everything, everything falls the fuck out. Now, this is my fault, by the way, because I can't seem to find a decent wallet. Do you have any tips? Well, here, here's the, it's funny you brought that up, this man. And this is why we've got back problems. So, for old men like <laughs> us, and even for young people, I ran into this company called Ridge, right? Okay. Ridge. Okay. I like the name. R I D G E, right? Uh, yeah. Look at fine. look at this wallet, right? Carries everything you need, right? And it's look at compact. this. It's compact. It's compact and just okay. like this. You okay. push down. You yeah, fan yeah. it out. You need a credit card. I got to pay for something. Just that oh. easy. I go pay it. Boom. Put it right back in. And you guess mean, what? You You're, can put in a hole. You can just flip out and have multiple choice that easy. That easy. Look how easy wow. this is. And you know how stupid I am. You see how see how easy that was to fan out just like that, man? Yeah. Look at that, dude. I'm stupider, but yeah, I get it. Okay. And then you got awesome. the cash right on the back here. Nice. And guys, look, uh, this this episode is sponsored by Ridge. And if you oh. use the promo code hey. YouTube, YouTube 10, that's YouTube 10, okay. Okay. you receive 10% off any ridge product guys i'm telling you man look at the difference look at the difference you've got to use ridge monty and the pharaoh are telling you please support monty and pharaoh and guess what they've got other cool stuff because i'm an asshole i just dropped it um <laughs> hold on <laughs> it's all the way over there oh, only no. only monty will do this folks um they Wait, also sell you How's your back? You okay picking that thing up? Well, since I since I've been using Ridge, my back is like 100 percent better. Right. Also, dude, check this out. There From Ridge, I ordered this. Where right, you I know you're recently married, right? Yeah, yeah. Twenty four gold carat gold plated ring. Look how beautiful that thing is. Right, Ridge dot com. Again, use YouTube ten. Okay. To receive 10% off. And guess what? If you're a working man and you're working with electric, you know you don't want to be using gold. You want to burn right. yourself. They right. also come with a nice rubber ring that you oh, can wear. They got those we all cool know the wives. Yeah, That's nice. right. And you know the wives don't want to, you know, they get pissed off if you stop using their shit, right? Or, or showing you're married because it's some hot girl. She doesn't see you're married. She's jumping all over your shit. Oh, especially wonderful. especially wonderful. if you're using the Ridge wallet, dude. Nice. Look at that. Does Look it, how does thin it, that thing is, Jimmy. Does it does it come in different colors and stuff? I mean, comes that's it, you know what? You're brilliant. And guess what? They just came out with what? NFL team ridges. Ooh. So if you're a Jet fan and you want to uh, show your yeah, Jet yeah, color, yeah. Yeah. or you're a Yankee fan, you <laughs> yeah. can wear your Yankee fan ridge. Okay. okay. So anyway, I recommend that. And uh, very nice. Well, we thank hopefully you. Thank you to Ridge. Up. Thank, thank you. you to Ridge. I agree. Thank you very much. Right. Saying a little bit, you know, you right. know what I'm saying. Um, right. Black women seem to keep their youth into a much older age. I think they they always seem to hold up well. White women are, are hit and miss, right? They some do, <laughs> some don't. Asian women, Asian women, I agree with you. They they keep their age. Right, right. Well, all I know is in my house, I'm safe. <laughs> so, she's part so, Indian, you said, right? She's part. Yeah, she's part. What is it? Let me make sure I got this right. There's there's English in there. There's Falkland Islands, I think. There's Indian. There's there's a, there's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> All right, it's that time of season again. PWI Top Two Fifty Two Thousand Twenty Four Women of Wrestling. Last year you had a conniption, I remember. Okay. Um, I've got I've got the top twenty. Okay, uh, win, I'm gonna hate this, by the way, but okay. judged on win and loss record. Championships won, quality of competition. Oh, here we go. And major feuds. So I'm going to start at 20, even though my my uh, effing 
script has it one to twenty. Hey, I just found out also there's Nigerian. Karen has Nigerian. Would you would you peg her to have Nigerian? No, not at all. That's not weird. at all. That's yeah. weird. Oh. Karen Karen is totally a hot woman, man. You've done well for yourself. I yeah. totally get it. I got kicked my coverage. So there. You did. Well, I don't know. You're a pretty good looking guy. I don't know if you're uh, better, I'm a better kicker be than the guy. Better kicker than the guy on the Jets, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> no more jet talk. I'm At number sorry. twenty. Lyra Valkyrie, a Lyra Valkyrie, however you want to p- an- announce her name. Yeah, yeah, I know you got there. Um, this is the WWE sweetheart that keeps getting the push that we just don't even understand why that's happening. Right. I don't know if I'd make her this low. Compa- I have to see the rest of the list. Well, this is this is only twenty out of two hundred and fifty, right? So she made it to right. the top twenty. That's that is uh, that is pretty damn good. That, yeah, it is pretty. I mean? It is pretty good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> You're First of all, gonna... like, you have any thoughts on her, or what were your thoughts on her? Uh, I, my thoughts are is, is that she could be an immense star, but I don't see the push really happening. She almost feels like Carrie and Cross. Well, she, <laughs> dude, she was getting a pretty big push. I mean, she yeah, she was, finals. but didn't work yeah. out yet. You know, number nineteen, Mayua Yash- Yamashita from TJPW. Gesundheit. I know nothing. I can't say anything about this one except Gesundheit. First of all, let me ask you something. How do women yeah. from these organizations even get in the top 20? Uh, Championships won, one loss record, quality of feud. Right. Uh, it's like, I don't think right. so. No, I don't think so either, considering how much just WWE and AEW alone have. So I agree. Go ahead. I know you can't make it AEW, WWE super heavy, right. but you got to call not? it right. You can't. You can't just throw names in there to make it even. That's Number what they 18, do. Mayu Wantanabe. Yeah, Wantanabe. From, TJ, from TJPW. Right. I'm assuming related to the Wantanabe I know from New Japan. I can't really say anything more than that. You know, if she's anything like the Wantanabe in New Japan, yeah, she's got a future. Wow, this PW died. 25 is coming off to big hits right now. Yeah. Unbelievable. Number 17, Becky Lynch, WWE. Well, that's an obvious one. She's only ranked low because she's busy with injuries, pregnancies, and whatever she's doing. Well, dude, at, at you home. Know, from what I understand, she didn't re-sign her contract. She's looking to right. do other stuff. You know what I mean? Right. What is other stuff when you're Becky Lynch? What are you going to do? Mom, writer, Lo- what, actress. Lolly- lollipop gang? <laughs> Inside jokes aware. Hello, everybody. Yep. Hello, everybody. Number 16. Oh, here we go. Mina. Shirakawa from Stardom. And the Pharaoh leaves the floor to Mr. Monty to tell him all about Mira Shirakawa from Stardom. Go ahead, Mike. I know. Mike, nothing. thank you. That was very insightful. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for that name. <laughs> wow. Go. Crushing. Number 15, Masha Slamovich, TNA. What a Dude, great first of all, name. I got to tell you. Wait a minute. Hold on. I love Slamovich. Yeah. But you know what? Had what? no idea what she looked like. I've only heard her name, and I heard I she was good. I don't love her anymore. And I don't love her anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Ew, man. Ew. You, you folks came here for insightful stuff, and that's what you're going to get, God damn it. Uh, Slamovich, great last name. If she wrestles that way, oh, yeah, she's got a future. You know anything about her? No. This is awful. This is What's just, wrong with you? This might be the worst awful bit. You of expect time. me. You expect me to know about chicks who wrestle in TJPW. What the fuck do I look like anyway? Someone who has that much time on their hands? Number wow. 14, Mayua Iwatane oh, oh, from Stardom. Of course. of course, of course, Iwatani. With a last name like that, you're bound for stardom. <laughs> I've lost the words. I don't know what to say. Hey, we're in better shape on the next three. All right. Number 13, Eo Sky, WWE. Eo Sky's fucking great. Everybody knows it. She's fucking just great. Eo Sky is great. Only problem yeah. with Eo, number one, bad mic skills, obviously. Oh, gee, you think? And number two, she's yeah. way too small, bro. Uh, she she strikes me as a tough bitch. I'm, 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 I'm satisfied with her character. I think she's fine. You know, she could be ranked higher considering some of these stupid names that are on here. Well, she you should know? be. I mean, it's a joke. 
I mean, Sl- Slamovich looks like a foot. He's scaring the shit out of you. I mean, Slamovich what's going on? looks like a sandwich. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, my God. Number 12, Liv Morgan. Uh, now, geez. wait a minute. Let me just say geez. something right here. Yeah. The hottest storyline of the year. Right. Might be one of the greatest storylines right. in all of wrestling history. Right. It's the woman's champion. Right. And she's number 12. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. She should be in the top three. I don't know what the fuck she's doing ranked here. She's had everything you just said. And she's just been getting better and better and better. She's a perfect heel. Her whole thing with Dominic is perfect. Everything she's doing is perfect. And uh, she's putting fannies in the seats. People do go to see Liv Morgan. You know, we talk about, you know, wrestlers who do or don't draw people. Well, Liv Morgan's got her fans. I happen to be one of them. I don't know how it happened. I got to tell you something. The WWE's never been hotter. Right. If these magazines want to be legit or these online magazines, whatever you want to call them. Right. When something is this hot. Right. If your entire top 20 is filled with WWE women, right. that's perfectly fine to right. me. You know what I I'm agree. saying? I agree. And I can, let me get this in, too. If you're tuning into this show to expect us who have been watching wrestling for over half a century to give a shit who's wrestling in TJPW, odds are you might have come to the wrong channel. Yeah, probably. Okay. I mean, okay. And again, so, we're no wrestling experts, but yeah. I mean... Yeah, and I'm, but I'm not. But I'm not going to apologize for not knowing who's listen. Top if of the if, food if chain, someone's going to turn you know, to me and go, if you don't know shit about Mio Yashashima, right? You know what, dude? Uh-oh. You're a nerd. You're right. a nerd. Yeah. You're a it, fucking it, living jackass. It, exactly. If you're sitting at home on your yeah. phone watching yeah. TJPW yeah. on streaming service, yeah. Yeah. you're a clown. I don't. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know what to say. And let me tell you, know. you something else. That was Bob Kulik that played on Sweet Pain on Kiss Destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Gives a shit. Number 11, NXT yeah. champion, Roxanne Perez. She's excellent. I can see her being ranked higher, especially now that I'm taking a look at some of these names that I'm seeing above her. She's done a great job. Bro, she's totally run, won me over. I was yeah. not a fan no, at she's all. Good. She is, she is good. very good. She very is good. good. By, the, by the way, AJ Lee currently pisses on most of this list right off the bat. <laughs> and she hasn't wrestled in 10 years. She, right. That's what I'm getting at. Yep. Here's where I really get annoyed. Number yeah. 10, Athena. No. Now, let me ask you something. Yeah. Win-loss record, quality opponents, major right. feuds. She wrestles right. in Ring of Honor. Right. She might have wrestled one match this year. She was injured most of the year. Bullshit, whoever okay. writes these magazines. Ab- absolutely. Athena? Right. Athena? Well, the ones who create these lists are trying to come across as the smart people. But, you, dude, but you're just throwing you, names up there. You're a clown. To me, you are. The, to me, you the, are. This is the show, Clownland. Right. right. Well, what about the next one who nobody even had a question for? Go ahead to number nine. Number nine, Mariah May. Got nothing to say. <laughs> Don't get Bully Ray pissed, dude. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Listen, dude, I got to be honest with you. I kind of like Mariah May. It's not that I dislike her. I just was I was in shock that if you're doing a, a post wrestling match thing right. and right. and the so-called wrestling journalists who go to these events uh, right. Uh, right first of all you sh- I don't agree with bully but I will say this you're lucky that they let you in the room right ask a fucking question yeah <laughs> I mean, you should ask a question I I will agree with that but you do realize that this list has put miss I don't want to ask you anything above Becky Lynch EO Sky Liv Morgan and Roxanne Perez. I'm just letting you know. No, that's that's a good point. So, so, so this, Here, here's this here's here's is, where it gets even bad. Joke. Number eight, Willow yeah. Nightingale. I can't. I can't. Are you, dude? Are you... I don't even get that. When people say they're f- like, oh, well, she has a lot of fans. No, no, she doesn't. This isn't Chelsea Green. Good, get out of here. You know what I mean? It's not Willow. There's... Nighting. All right, so I'm no. going to ask you. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to give you from ranking them from one to ten. I'm going to ask you about Willow Might Nightingale wrestling yeah. skills. Three point five. Now, if Bully Ray, you're not allowed to judge, but uh, you're the Pharaoh. You're better than Bully Ray. So three point five for Willow Nightingale. It factor. Five tops. 
Wow, you're even giving her five on it factor, and you're, you're yeah, being, but, that's yeah, generous. But what dude, I, generous. You're forgetting something. I should have said something. I'm rating it on a one to ten. Yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. Okay. okay. If if you get a fifty on your math test, guess who has to go to summer school? See, here's the thing. When I think about it factor, I think about the look too, like what kind of look right. they have. And I'm not right. talking about being attractive, okay? I'm just saying that look. Right. Dude, she no. looks like some broad working at Walmart, man. I'm sorry. Right. I don't know how else to right. put this. There is Mike no skills. Did I ask you Mike skills already? No, thank you. I can't. I can't bear it. <laughs> it's, it's She's awful i can't bear it no she's there's she no one in the world that is a fan of willow nightingale there, it's not possible well and for her got, to be ranked number eight give me an effing break dude, dude she's a, she's above becky lynch like it's crazy it's what the stupid. fuck are, what are we what Look, are we talking if the about magazine here? wants to use becky lynch as oh she was off most of the year blah 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 okay i'll give that to you but i'm sorry you can't put Willow Nightingale above Liv Morgan. Right. What the come on here? You know what? Not for nothing. What about a worker like Zelina Vega? What, she doesn't deserve to take precedence over some of these fucking Hard, people? You know, are... Again, if you want to fight with me on, on Zelina Vega against uh, somebody else, I kind I could probably argue the case for somebody else. Maybe, Jimmy. I'm not saying I'm right. I said maybe. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But, you know, when you're talking right. about these other people, come on. Number yeah. seven, Bailey. Okay. Not going to argue with Bailey being at a high position. You know, Bailey's great. Bailey does her job. Bailey's a pro. She hasn't really skipped a beat. Bailey's fine being on a list like this, you know, and, and she's ranked high enough that I'm not I'm not losing my shit over it. So I'm okay with Bailey. Number six. Saria from Stardom. Now she's in AEW too. Right. She's not too bad. I wouldn't put her at number six, okay? But at least she has some it factor behind her, right? Uh, there's right. something going on there. Number right. six? No. I mean, I'm no. sorry, man. No. To I'm me, not sure. I'm not even sure where she belongs, but she belongs definitely at least. It, it's Seven or eight very lower. hard to write these lists. And if you're going to do this, is it? It, it's, it is. Because think about it, dude. You got to come up with 250 women in wrestling. That's a, that's dude. You got to really be dedicated, right? Right. But right. once you get to the top 20, it really shouldn't be in question. The only thing that should be in question is maybe someone should have been one. Maybe someone should have been two, but it right. shouldn't be like, what are they doing on this list? Come right. on, man! It's it's right. it's just utterly, utterly stupid. Well, it's an artsy fartsy list, you know. We've seen them before. Number five, Stephanie Vacor. Well, well, I think just joined NXT, right? Yeah, well, well traveled for shit sure. Uh, definitely upside potential for shit sure. I mean, interesting to see what the performance center will do with her. Uh, if presented now look at her, to, man, that now yeah. that woman looks like she's got it, right? Me. If that if that if that character is promoted and, and prepared and delivered the right way, uh, it could go far. It could go far. Uh, this ranking, I'm not sure about because now she's at the true proving ground. You know, that's the thing that bothers me about a lot of this ranking. Like, look, whether people like it or not, the true proving ground. It's still, it's not AEW. Everybody knows that the AEW this roster. Is, this is the wrong time for these magazines to be stupid with the WWE. Right. The, the wrestling in the WWE has never been better. You can challenge. It's probably the greatest time for wrestling. At this right. point, it should be so WWE heavy. Right. People right. would understand it. Right. It's like, come on, man. Come right. on, man. But we've been watching this since the end of time when PWI used to pull their bullshit ratings. It was bullshit. Half the time, the WWF champion was always listed below Vern. How the fuck do you ever put Vern? Dude, you know, you know when, we, when we had Aptor on, he denied Get it. Out. You know, I, I, I was trying to find magazines, but we had times where Backlund was ranked behind number one contenders in the NWA. We did. And I remember, he's like, oh, that wasn't yeah. true. Yeah, it was, Bill. You fucking yeah. bullshit. Dude. Yeah, Bullshit. well, it's, it's always been the artsy-fartsy way to do things. This is what they do. 
See, it's this kind of thinking that makes sure people like Pete Rose stay out of the Hall of Fame. You yeah. have to understand that. It's that twisted kind of fucking thinking. You know, Again, you know if, if you really want to do this, in my opinion, you got to be honest. Like, if you're going to be a journalist, you got to try to do the right thing. And I'm not getting crazy over this because, again, it's fucking wrestling. But it's like right. if you're going to spend the time and you want people to subscribe, at least be honest. Don't play. You know, what, what's going to happen to you if I don't if I don't put, uh, you know, Willow Nightingale in the top 10? AEW's going to shut me out. I mean, come right. on already, will you? This is right. nonsense, Jimmy. Right. Really. I wouldn't even start from the bottom. I don't know how they go about comp you know, composing these lists. But to me, the first thing I would do is write down the obvious best in the business, the obvious main eventers. I'd probably come up with maybe 20 to 30 names. And then you could play games with Mina Shirakawa from Stardom or Miyu Watanabe from TJPW. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous to not acknowledge the top tier, but we've been dealing with that for years. For years, right. we dealt with well, that. I'm going to bring these people in here real quick, Jimmy. Maybe they could help fix this list. Hold on. <laughs> Anyone else see this during the Dodgers game? I love the artificial intelligence narrator scares the shit out of me as much as the people in the yellow shirts. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Maybe they'll fix the list. Let's see if maybe, it worked. How about nope. this? How about maybe they made the list? How about that? Nope. All right. Because I'm leaning more towards that. What the fuck was that? Well, I will tell you, since I since I played that, uh, the Yankees lost. So that was probably a mistake. Number four, Mayaka. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Stardom. I, number four. Number four. Of course. Better than Bailey. Better than the one. You know who's a better. You know who's a better. You know who's a better wrestler than Miyaka? Who's that? That Indian behind you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not grappling with that Indian behind me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll be done. All right. Now we're into the top three. Let's see if this really gets Farrell fucking pissed off. Okay. Number three, Rhea Ripley. Wrong. That's number one. It's like what? Wrong. What? Wrong. Could oh, it we be gave more... it. We gave it to her last year. We can't give it to her this year. Oh, I, I see. You know, there's too many Yankees in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if you've heard. You know Again, what I mean? But one of the hottest storylines in wrestling this year, if not the hottest. Right. Maybe one of the greatest storylines in professional wrestling history. And I don't give a shit what it's anyone says. No, it's, it's up there. It's four and, years and, and counting. Yeah. And it's like, this is not your number one woman. Right. Are you. Number two, Jordan Grace. Now, I like Jordan Grace, dude, but she ain't number two. No. This is not number two either. Um, would she be? In, would she even be in the top ten? By the way, I had to do. She, she would be in my top seven this year. She did well. She did Royal Rumble. She wrestled NXT at a cross promotion. TNA right. champion. She's, she's done great. okay, and she's she, yeah, you know she's she's, a, she's an up and comer. I I would yeah. put her in my top ten. I would. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can see her being in the top ten. I, I don't put her at number two. By the way, that Rhea Ripley thing made me turn into Gordon Soley. I had to take a swig of something. <laughs> it's uh, Liv can't. Morgan passed in in the top twenty. Doesn't even break the top ten. And right. Rhea Ripley, the best wrestling in the world, number three. Number three, because Jordan Grace has done more for this business than Rhea Ripley in what universe? In okay, what universe? This is, this is, now, this this is, is the, the, a fairy tale, this list. It's the land of the of the misfit toys. I don't know what this well, is. Well, we, now we know who number one is, okay? And Do this we? is where I want to know what you really feel. Because I'll share my points. Now, we have people that, you know, part of the Monty and the family family that love this woman. Right. I don't get it. Number one, Tony Storm. Nope. Not number one. Um... Definitely ranked in the top five. I could see her even being number two. I'll go that far. You'd go to two with her, huh? I, I think she's I think she's reinvented herself, and she's amazing at what she does. I liked her back when uh, on the 30, you guys were asking who's got the nicest. 
Nice as ass. Yeah, which was like unbelievable, you know. I'm like, I'm voting Tony <laughs> Storm. Everybody else is picking what's a face who nobody even gives a fuck about now. What was her name? Do you even remember her name? Oh, uh, Sky Blue. What happened there, there man? Oh, there's a superstar for you. I picked Tony Storm. Well, dude, wait a minute. First of all, to be fair to Sky Blue, when someone tags yeah. you with the name Sky Blue, right? You are not going right. far. You know right. this. So you to give what? her credit for like getting something out of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe they could change it to Mud Brown. Dude, isn't there isn't there a, a woman wrestler called Sexy Red? It's like yeah. Where are yeah. these names coming I, from, I, man? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Tony Storm reinvented herself. Did a fucking great job of doing it. Uh, when written correctly, she was great at it. She's lost her steam, obviously. Uh, but to Dude, put her... I, I don't get the gimmick. Yeah. I got Honestly, it a little bit in the beginning with the black and white, but now it's become annoying to me. Right, it's right. It's annoying. I mean, do you know I saw a video where she used the name, what was that famous comedian? Artie Bart Funkel? What was that guy, the comedian? I don't, I don't... Yes, you do. You 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 actually have mentioned them numerous times, like Artie Bart Funkel. You mean Artie Lang? No, old school, like back Three Stooges land like already. Anyway, it does. It, the point of the matter is, is that it's like fatty Arbuckle. Thank you, fat. Yes, bonehead. Go All ahead. right, to use that name. So yeah. here's a problem. Only people our age know who the fuck that is, <laughs> and I can't even remember the name. That's how bad it is, right? Right. right. So my point to use this. It was cool gimmick with the black and white stuff and blah blah blah, but yeah. now it's just old and i gotta tell you dude right i i i I... look look (sighs) here here's here's me in a in a a pinch ray ripley is number one Liv morgan is number two of everyone else that's on this list that deserves to be mentioned at all i would say that bailey would be three you'd have eo sky roxanne perez of course you'd have jordan grace there's like seven Becky Lynch should always be on a goddamn list. I don't care if she takes time off for the runs. Doesn't fucking matter to me. You know, outside of that, every other name that's on this list is fancy pants bullshit instead of just Tiffany telling it Stratton's like it is. Tiffany not in your top 20? Uh, have you paid attention? What, winning money in the bank is, is less important than being part of TJPW because they've had a higher level of competition than Tiffany Stratton? What are you fucking smoking? Nia Jax? No. What are you smoking? This, you know what? Damage this, control. This list is shit. Okay, that's what I think of that fucking list. I love that, it. Damage control. You know what? You're right. You're right. There you go. It is shit. It and is it's shit. A joke. And I'll tell yep. you the hashtag fuck PWI. Seriously. Yeah, well, that's the way Don't it goes. Don't spend your money on that stupid yeah. rag anymore. It's annoying. Everything about it. 